I'm not ashamed. Why did Jesus weep at the tomb of Lazarus? This is the question that we seek to answer today as we continue our verse by verse study of the book of John on Walking Through the Bible. Of his word, the glory of his cross. If you have a Bible with you, turn to John chapter 11. We're going to be reading from verses 28 to 37. If you don't have a Bible, don't worry. Just follow along with us on the screen. The version that we'll be reading from is the New King James Version. So John chapter 11, beginning verse 28. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary her sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews who were with her in the house and comforting her, when they saw that Mary rose up quickly and went out, followed her, saying, She is going to the tomb to weep there. Then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, See how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying. In our last lesson, we talked about Jesus being the resurrection and the life. We discussed how Jesus in that moment was going to bring physical resurrection to Lazarus, as well as the promise of physical resurrection, actual resurrection, to those who died before. But on a spiritual level, Jesus is the provider of resurrection from sin to those who in faith obey him. Thus, those who continue in faith will never die, but be rewarded with eternal life. Martha expressed her belief in this because she believed that Jesus was the Son of God whom was sent into the world. Not many people believe that, but Martha did. Coming now to verse 28, we have the reaction of Mary, Martha's sister, to the arrival of Jesus. Recall from earlier on in the chapter that Martha went out to meet Jesus just outside of the town of Bethany, but Mary stayed behind. Martha, however, returned and told Mary privately that the teacher, meaning Jesus, has come and is calling for you. We don't have recorded for us when Jesus did this, but he obviously did, for we have no reason to believe that Martha is lying here. When Mary heard this, she quickly arose and came to Jesus, who had not left where Martha had met him. Now the crowd who had been with Mary and Martha, comforting and mourning along with them, thought that she was leaving to go to the tomb to mourn there. We didn't know it then, but verse 33 makes it clear that they followed Mary to where Jesus was. When Mary found Jesus, she came and fell at his feet, telling him that if he had been there, her brother would not have died. Like it was with Martha, I don't believe Mary is complaining here, but simply stating her belief that Jesus would have been able to save her brother had he been there. This shows us that both women had faith in who Jesus was and what he had the power to do. But alas, Jesus was not there, nor did he perform a miracle from afar like he did in John 4. When Jesus saw the weeping of all the people, he groaned in his spirit, meaning that he was troubled, and asked them where the tomb was. They said to him, Lord, come and see. I find it interesting that this phrase, come and see, is used here, as it has been used twice before in this book, both times with people being told to come and see Jesus. Here, though, it is used for Jesus to come and see someone else. I don't think this has any significance, for Jesus could have known where Lazarus's tomb was without their help, but it's just something I find interesting as we pass by. Upon arriving at the tomb, Jesus went up and wept. That Jesus wept here shows us the humanity of Jesus. Jesus knew what he was going to do in raising Lazarus from the dead. He could have been cold and told them not to cry for Lazarus would be raised from the dead, but no, he did not do that. He sympathized with them and joined in their mourning. However, I don't believe his mourning was for Lazarus, for even if Lazarus wasn't going to be raised, he was safe in the arms of God because he was a believer in Jesus. No, Jesus was mourning with the crowd because he sympathized with their feeling of loss. Paul would later say in Romans 12:15 that Christians are to rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. It was a time of weeping, so Jesus wept. 
Now the crowd saw Jesus' weeping as a sign that Jesus loved Lazarus, which of course he did. But they also seemingly questioned among themselves as to why Jesus didn't keep Lazarus from dying. After all, he had opened the eyes of the blind man in John 9. Unlike Mary and Martha, it doesn't appear that these people have the same faith in Jesus. Perhaps they thought that he only had limited power from God. We don't know. But with Jesus now at the tomb, the stage is set for Jesus to raise Lazarus from the dead. We'll look at that, the Lord willing, in the next lesson. With that, our time is up for today. The Lord willing, we hope you'll join us for tomorrow's discussion of John chapter 11, verses 38 to 44, as we continue our walk through the Bible, one verse at a time. I'm not a Thank you for watching today's episode. We hope that you found it edifying and ask that you not only subscribe to our channel and podcast, but that you like and share this episode among your friends so that the saving gospel of Jesus Christ can go out to the whole world.